and I'm back. Welcome back to my channel. So I finished a flip cup in the St. Patrick's Day colors. That kind of inspired me. I miss these uh, greens and muted green, dark blue, tea, green and yellow. Anyway, uh, I didn't think that really the way the flip cup came out that it really highlighted all the colors. So I said, why not a cupcake pour to do the colors individually? So I have a 10 by 10 canvas here that I've already prepped with a white base. And I have my little cupcake holder. And I got a little, um, those are like the garbage pail or ghoulie garbage little characters that I've glue dotted to it to help me lift it up later. I was smart this time and didn't put the oil on the top. Um, I coated it with the OGX Coconut Milk Serum, and yeah, so I'm ready to go. So um, I did put some yellow of the uh, Grumbacher Thalo Gold on the bottom, so I'm going to start with the Craftsmark Grass Green. And I'm just going to go and hit each of these little curves with a little bit of paint. Oops, got to move the big one. I'm going to have to get my left in here a little bit because having the little holder keeps me from... Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me, but I can't get the paint right, right, right enough without hitting the little holder I have. So, using the last bit of my daylight, I don't get to paint as I mentioned before in the daylight all that often. So I'm excited to be doing it. All right. Um, then I'm gonna go with the. Folk art, uh, I think this is a pearl peridot. It's a birthstone. It's a real pretty green birthstone. Although it's a pretty solid green for the birthstone, and this one's the metallic version of it. Oops. Again, a couple of these are going to have my hand in the way. But if you watch my channel and you've seen my three other ones, you get the gist of what I'm doing. And I'm hoping they go well. Then I'm going to go with the Lucas Green Earth. Which now thinking about it, I should have started with because it would have been that nice. It's a darker green when it dries. But, you know, green mixes, you can't go wrong with the green mixes, so we're good, we're good. I was going to do a purple cupcake pour today, but, but then thought about, after I did the flip cup, that I really wanted to kind of show the colors one by one. And then I'm going to go with the Art Minds Mysterious. It's a new color I found. Well, new to me, anyway, I'm sure. Someone's used it before. So it was a three day weekend for President's Day, and a lot of activity on the channels so plenty plenty to watch try to make sure my pearls and metallics were better consistency so that they didn't oh that one's making a mess I'm sorry overflowing <laughs> I'm 
if I want to go with that again. You know what? I think I'm going to go... Well, we'll see. I don't normally like to put... Um, I'm going to go with the Grumbacher Phthalo Gold. Two metallics, too close together. Cause, well, what am I saying? I just did them at all metallics. Strainer pour, but I'm doing the bottle bottoms. I need the um, paint to be able to flow, but not overflow. So I redid a video because one of my subscribers didn't respond to her winning a painting. But I looked for her and I looked for her and I couldn't find her on another, the other channel she subscribes to. So maybe she's just, I hope you're okay, Jeannie Shrink. Maybe she's just not on YouTube as much. You know how life takes you away sometimes. But, Creative Escapades by Kim is my new chosen winner, so hopefully she will want a painting. I'm excited because I watch her channel quite a bit, and uh, it's nice. It's nice to share artwork between artists. Okay, then I'm going to go with the... Uh, Folk Art Peridot again. This Peridot kind of reminds me of... Um, I don't know what color I, Nate Cerami used in his metallic bottle bottom. It's very similar color. It reminds me actually of like the festive green, almost a, the festive green that Deco Art has. But it's just a hint lighter. Just a hint. Okay. Then the Lucas Green Earth again. Such pretty greens. Loving my greens. Whoopsie. Alright. Hoping you guys can't hear that noise in the background. <laughs> then the art mine's mysterious again. I'm not gonna I'm gonna do one more round. I don't think you will need to hear the colors again. And I will list them in the description under the video after it's uploaded. So, yeah, you know, there's always housework to be done. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. That's just wonderful. Let me sing you a song or something, something. <laughs> trying to go fast and I'm pouring too much I need to slow down a bit oh yeah yeah it's not you know dog noises or <laughs> street cars it's something we all pour paint where we can and how we can all right then I'm gonna one more round. I've never used this Mysterious before, so I'm a little curious to see how it dries. It's a mystery, this Mysterious. <laughs> it's a mystery. So we had uh, like five days straight of raining here in California. Well, I think Southern did too, but I know us Northerners did. 
but we still need the rain. We need to put the rain in our rain bank when summer comes along because we get pretty dry. Yeah, I'm just going to give myself plenty of paint here. This will be the last round. Okay. And then the Lucas Green Earth. I'm hoping this will be a nice little dark contrast. Whoop. Don't knock the cupcake holder over, Monica. What I love about this cupcake thing is that uh, it fans out, so color goes underneath instead of uh, the white still, I think, because of the white base, creeps in and can get um, in between your layers, but I like the way the color blends. It's always kind of like marbly or I don't know how to really describe it. I think you've seen it on my other paintings, but it always gives a cool look because it kind of blends kind of naturally. And uh, do, 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 do. I'm going to finish with this. <laughs> I already have the yellow underneath, so maybe I will go with the grass green one more time. That way, those two metallics aren't touching. It should blend, because this was the first color after when I started and it was there, so. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and see where we're at. Okay, let that soak down a little bit. Light tilt. I'm just going to go for it. Get them all released. Ah, darn that white. Darn that white, but see the, the way the shimmer, the way it picks up? Give it a quick torch because there are some air bubbles hanging around. There we go. You guys pop. Pop now. I almost want to mess with that center a bit. I don't know if it'll help or not, but I'm going to go ahead and pull in this thicker non-metallic paint. Oops, I didn't want that. Didn't want that either.
We'll just try to pull this out a little bit. It's a little one-sided. See if I can get one to each going. The middles are always a little difficult sometimes. But all right, let's go ahead and tilt this baby boo. We turn it, so I'm tilting towards you all. And it goes slow, 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 slow. The shimmer on that. Blue from that art mines is really when that center is full of paint. Slow, slow, slow. Hopefully it's not too much of a glare from my light. I needed some white there. That's okay. We'll bring it back. It's a fast moving center, people. Just stretch it this way a little bit. sure it knows it can go this way and let me grab that hair Ugh. that hair out of there I don't know if I really got it See how fast that center's moving. I don't want it to go that fast. You know what I need is some more of that white. Having a problem with my white earlier, but I'll use some of this here just to give it something to move with. Move this way, move this way. I'm just going to put it on all the ends real quick. Real quick, real quick. I think sometimes I pour off too much of my base because I don't like the, the white dots that can come up sometimes. But hopefully... All my colors will cover, except for that middle. And before, I didn't do the white in the middle. I did just the color, but not this time. little bit more on this end. We'll be tilting it always. Okay. 
gonna do what it's gonna do. But hopefully, give it something more to tilt with. I'm okay that it's pouring over. There you go. Pouring off is fine. I just didn't want it to fold over. a lot of that paint that is one runny center gonna have to mess with that for sure come on give y'all something to move with let's move it have to do that stuff with my skewer again for that middle but I'll make it all nice and like long loops you can always mess with the center when you're done y'all can see Try not to go too fast because I'm trying to keep my shape. Watch me your middle. Definitely needed the white. All right, I'm gonna go one more direction. Get it back to my center a bit. Further down. Just a little bit more this way. And then I will leave it with the white ends this time. That's good, that's good. And I love in that green earth. And that center is no joke though. <laughs> I'm gonna try to move the gold around a little bit to at least try to get that in the center. The majority of it. Oh well. I will work to Add that center. And I forgot to do my designs. Oh. See what happens? You don't pour paint for a while. You lose it. You lose it. So let me try to... Since I'm going to mess with the inside i can make these at least go outward ok 
because I do like a design in the petals. You like the wispies. Right. See if I can at least make some sort of center area. So when I go to mess with it, although I got to figure out how to get that gold, I didn't do this one. Figure out how to get that gold together. start to over pull to get slower I might try to just lift up I'll mess with that off camera but we get a one final torch I'll give you a close-up So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please click the subscribe button. Click the bell next to the subscribe button and it will notify you when I upload another video. Click like and share this video. I'm trying to get to 250 subscribers. And if you leave a comment, I will get back to you. I'd love to hear the see your comments, what you think about it, all that good stuff. I'll turn it around. I was going to blow out the edges, but I don't think I need to. And I think I'm going to pull this real quick. Try to pull this out a little bit. So each corner had one of those, yeah. But I'm still going to mess with this, but off camera. Oops. I to find a way to get you guys more centered. Let me see if this light makes a difference. Nope. So here is my cupcake pour with my St. Patrick's Day colors. See my middle. I will mess with it a bit. Get that nice little wispies. You know when the white cells kind of pop up on the ends, I don't I don't mind it so much. I just don't like it in the middle of the painting. But the gold and that blue, the gold kind of wisped out into a the blue. Yeah. I love these cupcake pours. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on my next video. Bye.